Ahnung, ich weiß auch gar nicht, ob die das überhaupt bekommen haben. Ob den Baum bekommen haben? Nee, das Holz. Ja, ja, okay. Oder ob das an eine Stiftung geht oder sowas. Mhm. Ja, hi there. I'm here with Annika. Hi. And <laughs> we're just talking about Lord of the Rings stuff. So, to give a small introduction, as you know, there are many tobaccos on the market that are some kind of related to Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. So, we all know the, the famous Hobbit's weed, which, which is also mentioned in Lord of the Rings, uh, I guess, but, but we, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> and um, there are different tobaccos done by McClelland. Um, there's Deep Hollow. Deep Hollow is uh, a village in the Shire, uh, if I remember correctly. And of course, there's the Frogmorton series, and Frogmorton is also a village in the Shire. <laughs> so that's an example just for that. So there are different uh, Frog Mortons down by McLaren. And um, there's one by a German company, Fauen. That's called Auenland, that means the Shire. And uh, there's also a company. They produce uh, Middle Earth tobaccos and they have very different stuff. So even peated uh, tobaccos and aromatic tobaccos, I think, and so on. And pipes too. And pipes too. Yeah, well, that's that's true. <laughs> so, but Annika is uh, a council member um, of the German Tolkien Society. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And Annika also works in scientific ways on Lord <laughs> of the Rings. Uh, so you are some kind of Tolkien scientist. Tolkien scholar, scholar or whatever. <laughs> okay, or whatever. Whatever sounds best. <laughs> so, so, so perhaps Annika could just uh, answer us some questions we might have. I'll try. We might have. So my question would be the the father of Lord of the Rings. What what <laughs> did he prefer to smoke? Well, John Ronald Tolkien, he uh, there's basically no photograph of his without a pipe either in his mouth or in his hand. And also people who knew him uh, often say that they never really saw him without a pipe. Mm. Though um, we don't really know what exactly he smoked. The tobacco? We don't know the tobacco? No, Isn't there really. a photograph with a tin? <laughs> that would be easy. <laughs> no, but there were old uh, tobacco tins in mm -hmm. his house and they were from... Uh, from Dunhill, let me guess. <laughs> no, that was a navy flag. A navy flag? Navy flag. Oh, wow. And they were old tins and they contained all sorts of small stuff. So mm -hmm. the family used them to just contain all sorts of small mm -hmm. things that would just mm -hmm. run around the house. Uh, so that's where people guess, okay, maybe he smoked that one. Yeah. And his son Christopher, who took over all the mm -hmm. uh, editoring stuff, he also smoked uh, uh, smoked that brand, but he. You think they're like father, like son? Maybe, <laughs> or because it was just, I don't know, it was just there in the house, it was mm. available. But mm. he stopped a long time ago, I think, mm. as far as I know. Okay. So we don't really know much about that. Mm. So then we don't know if in Lord of the Rings there's a character that smokes the same or has the same smoking habits than uh, Tolkien himself. Oh, well, Tolkien said uh, he's a hobbit in all but size. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's of course where we think, well, the hobbits resemble him, I think, the most. Mm -hmm. And interestingly... The hobbits the ho were, the old, were the English landmen. Yes, uh, yeah, from the English mm -hmm. countryside mm -hmm. and the Midlands. Uh, that was really dear to him. Mm -hmm. And the hobbits are the ones smoking the most, and the ones who mm. invented the pipe weed. As invented it is. the pipe weed. Uh, as long as the hobbits. So the did. hobbits weed is the first tobacco. Uh, in yes. Okay. Mm. So they were the first ones to grow it mm. and to sell it as smoke, mm -hmm. smoking mm -hmm. tobacco. So there is also uh, the the tobacco plant, the weed. It's also found in Gondor, mm -hmm. uh, but it grows wild, and the Gondorians mm -hmm. don't really seem to know of its smokability. <laughs> no, so people in Gondor, they, they don't smoke? No, not really. At least we don't find any clues in, in, in the sources. Um, but that will change with the new king now. Probably, so, because uh, Aragorn was a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> the new age mm. of smoking. Well, uh, they, uh, they, they're they said to be captive because of its nice uh, fragrance. It had mm -hmm. a really sweet smell or, mm -hmm. or a sweet uh, the scent. The hobbit's weed. 
Yeah, the hump, mm -hmm. well, the pipe weed. It uh, is said to come from Numenor, mm -hmm. uh, brought to Middle Earth in the Second Age. But it was not until the Third Age that the hobbits actually began mm -hmm. to smoke okay. and plant it as pipe weed. And why did they begin? Do we know something about no, that? No, not really. It's all <laughs> really. it's all covered in myth mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, in stories. There was a hobbit. Uh, he's called Tobold Hornblower. Mm -hmm. And he lived in the south farthing of mm -hmm. the Shire, and he was the first one to grow the plant as pipeweed. Mm -hmm. And he was also called Old Toby, mm -hmm. and he lived in Longbottom, this in is Longbottom. A, a place mm -hmm. in the Shire. And um, the three uh, most popular varieties mm -hmm. of pipeweed in Middle Earth are called Longbottom Leaf, Longbottom Old Leaf. Toby, mm -hmm. and Southern Star. Okay. So all these three names relate to where. It came where are from. the differences between the, those tobaccos? That's what I really don't know. Oh, ah, okay. And that's, mm. that's also you don't really find out. There are those three brands, but... Uh, but is there just one leaf or like Virginia or is there <laughs> also a Burley and, uh, and other tobacco stuff? Or just one plant, so one, one kind that's of leaf? That's what you really don't find out. Mm, that's that's okay. really interesting. So it could be that there are just three different um, sorts of drying it or making it or flavoring but we know nothing about the scent or the flavor mm -hmm. whatsoever mm -hmm. so that's really good to ah, okay and um so so we know the hobbits they smoke a lot so and what about the other characters so uh in gondor perhaps yeah. uh, someone who visited the own land maybe but <laughs> most people know they don't and what about let's say the rohirrim they're really not uh, likely to be smoking. Um, basically, everyone in Middle Earth who smokes has come in contact somehow with the hobbit's mm. habit of smoking. So, it's mostly people who have come in contact with the Shire itself. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, the uh, rangers from the north, mm -hmm. like Aragorn, they, yeah, they're supposed to, to guard the mm -hmm. outlines of the Shire. So they smoke because they mm -hmm. came in contact with the hobbits. And Gandalf too. Gandalf too. Mm -hmm. He was a visitor of the Shire. Um, and through Gandalf also Saruman came to smoke, mm -hmm. though nobody knew about this until Merry and Pippin found the yeah, barrels. Yeah, okay, they found the barrels. Oh. So uh, basically everyone passing there. Uh, for instance, the dwarves from the uh, Blue Mountains, mm -hmm. they used the Great East Road, that, which leads through the Shire a lot. Mm -hmm. So they were uh, good smokers. Mm -hmm. uh, the people of Bree, the, mm -hmm. the men and also hobbits, uh, lived there. They also plant it, so mm -hmm. they also grow uh, pipe weed, but it's not as famous okay. as the Shire one. But well, Bree is at the border of Shire, so mm. yeah, I think someone coming from Gondor will think ah, it's all the same up there. Yeah, okay, but um, we all know the scene when when the hobbits they found the barrel of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of yeah, for me it's like bright Virginia leaves because big leaves and yes. uh, large leaves and um, you don't see that it's some kind of matured or fermented or it's done in any way it just looks mm -hmm. like dried uh, tobacco yeah well tobacco needs to be to be cured in a way mm -hmm. uh, to be smokable so you need to to dry it with air fire mm -hmm. or sun and uh, we suppose that hobbits did that as well because otherwise mm -hmm. it would just rot over time but that's just really speculation mm, based okay. on logic and so uh, we don't know if they had a, no. a dark fired uh, <laughs> Kentucky let's say no, so we don't know that right? so. I think maybe well this is only speculation mm. of course maybe it's because it wasn't that important to talk it was important that mm -hmm. they smoked mm. and that they smoked pipe weed yeah. and that they didn't smoke cigarettes for instance okay yeah so or I cigars think or cigars there's I no cigar smoking no. in uh, at least I don't know of, huh? no. No. I think the only smoking there is actually with pipes. Mm. So I think that was important as a as a gadget the Hobbit mm -hmm. uh, just had with them. Yeah. But I think apart from that, it's not really, well, it's, it's not it's not something that triggers the story in any way. Mm -hmm. It's just a side side thing. Mm -hmm. So could could one say that pipe smoking, a pipe smoking character in Lord of the Rings, that's always some kind of sympathetic. <laughs> so. Except Saruman, perhaps. Yes, though I think that the smoking side of Saruman is also a bit, mm, yeah. It makes him human, or it, it has a nice touch to mm. it, and it reminds people that Saruman has not always been evil. Okay. He has mm. been a good wizard mm. once, or, well, good or evil. I mean, he was, yeah, he was. 
and he was overtaken in his mind by, by mm -hmm. Sauron. So mm -hmm. that's when he turned evil, when he thought that this would be the best okay. way to handle things. Mm -hmm. But before that, he was also a member of the White Council. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he wasn't evil from the beginning. Oh, when did he begin to smoke? That's what we really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so before he was evil? Or Probably. <laughs> but I think maybe if you're that evil, you need something to ease your mind. Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's possible, yeah. <laughs> Do we know something about the bad guys? So, um, do they smoke? Well, if you take Saruman as a bad mm -hmm. guy, of course, yes, he yeah. apparently smoked. Let's say accept him. Yes, accept him. Well, then there's left the orcs, mm -hmm. but I really doubt that they picked up smoking from mm -hmm. Saruman because he, yeah, he really kept his habits and also mm -hmm. his stacks most for himself. I don't think he would be oh, very thrilled. Okay for anyone to know that he was smoking Hobbit's pipe weed. Perhaps they would, they would like to smoke, but they can't. They have no... They have no means to it. Now that could be... No, no pipes, yeah. no tobacco. Yeah, that could be. Perhaps. I think, so. well, I can't really imagine the orc standing there with his pipe and smoking, no, just like everything. it's much too smoking. relaxed. Yeah, and, um, yeah that, that's possible. And, and is there something we know about the different... Um, different production methods so like peating or let's say lapakia or nothing, something like that nothing whatsoever so that brings me to to, <laughs> to the point of the question so so do hobbits prefer heavy aromatic to <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's what we want to know that's the question i see <laughs> well as we don't even know what they do with their pipe weed mm. we don't know if it's aromatic or not we cannot really answer that question mm. It's always mentioned, well, in the Lord of the Rings and briefly in The Hobbit, um, it's always mentioned as being tobacco, mm, but not okay. really what sort, what brand, what flavor, mm. what scent, nothing. Just that it eases the mind and it relaxes and something kind of sense. And the different types we know about, we don't know the, the different differences. characters <laughs> of the tobacco. So no. We don't know anything no. about that. No, or the cut, uh, the yeah. different cut. <laughs> no, that, that's really just mm. uh, speculation and it's mm. it's interesting. There is a fictional book mm. inside the Lord of the Rings or the mythology itself and that's called Her Blore of the Shire. Mm. And it was written by Mary mm -hmm. or Mary Doc Brandybuck. And in the Lord of the Rings as we see it as, or I think Tolkien saw himself as a kind of chronist mm -hmm. who wrote down uh, the happenings of of that age and yeah at some points we see that like when he says well in those times when the world was still green and good mm. and uh, so the story itself the fiction is becoming real as a chronist in our time is writing about it and just like he writes about the red book where he has all his information mm -hmm. from about the happenings he also writes in the same tone about the herb lore of the shire mm -hmm. as if it were a real mm -hmm. book and uh, this is summed up in uh, in the chapter of the Lord of the Rings. It's called On Pipe Week, simply. Yeah, okay. And it's part of the prologue. Mm -hmm. So you learn a lot about that, but it doesn't go further. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's some, well, of course, in The Hobbit, there's some smoking. Mm -hmm. and in The Hobbit, is uh, also some. Uh, well, you see that Gandalf smokes yeah, and yeah, yeah, Bilbo and mm -hmm. the dwarves. It seems to mm -hmm. be the most natural That's thing right, to dwarves. Do. Uh, they, yes. they smoke a lot. Because they mm. cross this, uh, this uh, great east road in the Shire. Ah, okay. And there is so also only the people that have connection or contact with the Shire. They or with someone who had contact with okay. the Shire. Mm. I don't know of how many uh, roads that goes, mm. but I think that's that's basically what you could see uh, say. For instance, uh, mentioning the bad guys again. Mm. You, it is also possible that the uh, Southerners from mm. from Saruman or uh, other Dunlundings that they maybe also have come across Bree and from there picked it up. But that's just speculation mm. too. So you can't really say, ah, oh, on, on this page it says this and this. Mm. So, so and that brings me to, to, to my last question. So <laughs> uh, what kind of sources do we have for that? So we have Lord of the Rings, yes. we have The Hobbit. Mm -hmm. We have uh, The Unfinished Tales. Mm -hmm. There is uh, some mentioning of it because it's... Uh, yeah, it, it retells what Gandalf and Saruman were up to, what, what they were doing, and it also mentions smoking, also mm -hmm. from Saruman's part, so there's a bit of information there. Then we have the uh, history of Middle-earth in 12 volumes, and in there 
their old text fragment from the Lord mm. of the Rings, where also uh, pipe weed and smoking is mentioned, but it's not really new information whatsoever. Mm. So it's it's really small part that mm -hmm. we actually have. So most of it is uh, speculation, good research, discussion with people. Uh, so when you have something like a talking society, mm -hmm. whether it is the German one or the Norwegian or mm -hmm. whatever, you always have people to, to get in touch with, mm -hmm. to discuss such things. And in those societies, of course, you also have pipe smokers. Mm. So they know a lot of that matter. And then they relate, ah, oh, I've read this and this. Oh, maybe you could interpret it like okay. this. Mm, no, that's, that's happened in many ways, I yes. think, with uh, talking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I think this is it. Okay. I think, <laughs> or is there something uh, we, we forgot about pipe smoking and Lord of the Rings? We I don't want to forget anything. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Annika told me a, a really interesting story. So, um, we're sitting here in the park under a tree, and um, the <laughs> most beloved tree uh, <laughs> by Tolkien. So, it was in Oxford, I, I think. Yes. Uh, and uh, the tree is dead or is dying? So, uh, uh, the tree is really old. Um, I don't recall the Latin name at the moment, uh, but it was a really dark. Mm -hmm. uh, almost black oak tree, mm -hmm. really old and very huge. And there are uh, a lot of pictures from, from Tolkien where you see him just laying uh, mm -hmm. relaxed on the tree. That's mm -hmm. that tree. And uh, it was his favorite tree and it was in the in the botanical garden mm -hmm. ah, in, okay. or botanic garden mm -hmm. in Oxford. It was really huge and the branches were very, very thick mm -hmm. and very huge. Mm -hmm and they started breaking off mm -hmm. okay. and so it was you, rotten yes it was it was i think it was dying it was old and if you hear it like mm. oh there was a branch falling off you think the branch never killed no one oh, yeah. but if okay. you see those branches they were huge mm. uh, so the botanic garden had to chop it off mm -hmm. and the uh, talking society uh, the talking society mm -hmm. in britain uh, they were dealing uh, with the with the botanic garden and seeing if they could maybe do something out of the wood so mm -hmm. it wouldn't just go to waste but as far as I know at the moment there's no new uh, information about okay. that but uh, check so out we, we can we can just do some uh, suggestions about that yeah that would be so cool <laughs> why PC can can just uh, make some suggestions yes. so my suggestion is um, to make uh, matches from them so many pipes can be lit up. <laughs> so. How about making pipes out of it? Well, that's not possible. So you can't smoke an oak. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. That, that's where you're the expert. Uh, but that's, uh, that's interesting because the, pipes, uh, the pipe material we know of uh, from in Middle Earth is wood or clay. Oh. So hearing wood and not yeah. knowing which wood and uh, not knowing much about pipes yeah. itself, I thought, oh, well, why not making pipes out of oh. that tree? But yeah, there has also been uh, discussions about the maybe elvish bones. Elven bones <laughs> 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 out of wood <laughs> for the bad guys, especially. Okay, <laughs> the bad guys of this. Well, wait, you see, there are, there are many possibilities. So perhaps you have any suggestions uh, we we could yeah. make and uh, <laughs> could help them out. So um, do do check out if you want to learn more the uh, Facebook side of the Tolkien Society. Yeah. Just the Tolkien Society. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of discussions also in the groups, of course, yeah. and uh, that's where you get the news, what's happening with the, with the tree. There was also a discussion about making a statue out of Tolkien, but as he himself yeah. never really got the hype around his person, I don't think that would be really a good idea to honor him. I prefer matches. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so anyway, thanks Annika yeah, uh, for being here, and uh, thanks a lot for watching, take care. Goodbye. We <laughs> to see you again. Na <laughs> Marie. <lacht> ja, das ist eine Frage mit dem Baum, was man da machen soll. Und da geht es immer noch nicht weiter. Also, ich habe zumindest in letzter Zeit nichts mehr darüber gehört. Mhm. Uh, kann sein, dass sich da jetzt wieder was ergeben hat, aber ich habe da auch nicht mehr wirklich recherchiert in der Hinsicht. Ich fand es interessant, weil es einen ziemlich langen Artikel eben gab, den der, ähm, der Vorsitzende der Tokyo Society veröffentlicht hat und der ist da wohl auch im Gespräch.